Hey everyone, how are you guys going? It's Deligracy here, obviously, and welcome to another Sims building video. And uh, you guys have probably realized already, but hold on, Deli, you're a little bit ahead of yourself because you did not start with nothing just then. You started building, we well, started the video halfway through building. Uh, basically, good old Deligracy, as clever as she is, she uh, forgot to press record <laughs> when she started building this video and she is now speaking in third person, which I have no idea why I'm doing that. Okay, we're back back to speaking properly. Um, yeah, so I just simply forgot to press record, uh, but luckily I didn't get too far into this tiny build um, before I realized. So sorry about that, you guys. I figured it was a bit of a waste not to post it though. Um, so of course I'm gonna post it anyway. And um, I've also included the floor plan at the end. So if you guys did wanna rebuild this, I know that a lot of you guys like rebuilding things, especially if you're on console and you can't download my builds, um, there are floor plans at the end in the screenshots. So you guys can see how to build it from that uh, rather than step-by-step -step throughout the video. So, okay, sorry about that, but welcome back to another video. I hope you guys have had a really nice week and I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm back. I'm feeling better. I was a bit sick for a little while if you guys have been keeping updated with my videos and if you've never watched a video of mine before, welcome to this video and don't worry about what I'm talking about. I just have been sick. So, uh, I am feeling a lot better and I decided to build my dream tiny home. So you're probably thinking it doesn't look that tiny. Like that's not that tiny of a home. Once you actually see the inside, when we start furnishing it, you'll realize it is quite small still. It is still, I think, categorized as a tiny home, especially cause we're about to bring in, um, bring in the wall by one soon. So when we start finishing it, you'll realize that I have made it pretty tiny. And the reason for this is if I'm making my dream tiny home, like honestly, I think I would really struggle living like super tiny, like six by two or whatever would not suit me at all. I need to have my necessities, which would be a bed. I need to have a double bed. I need to have a kitchen, a bathroom, a small lounge area and I also needed to have a wardrobe and a computer area. So that is what would make me happy if I was living in, in a tiny home. And I also wanted to have like a mezzanine level. So that's why it is a taller two story tiny home because that's what I wanted to have. But it's definitely going to still be very, very small for a dream home. So hopefully you guys are happy with it being categorized as a tiny home. And um, yeah, pretty much I just wanted to make a tiny home that would, you know, cater for all of my needs if I was a sim, my sim self, and design it in an aesthetic and a way of, you know, doing things that I really love. So those things would be a lot of glass. I love light. I love glass. Um, a lot of you guys are like, why do you put so many windows and builds? And honestly, like my dream would one day to my dream would one day to have would be to have, oh my gosh, why can't I speak today? <laughs> um, would be to have like a modern home or like an old building that was like half old, half modern with lots of light, lots of big windows. That's just my dream and that's my taste. But I know a lot of you guys, um, especially those of you who have come from different countries in the world. Uh, a lot of you guys in Europe who live around very old buildings with not big glass windows. Um, you guys might be a lot more comfortable with having small windows in your dream tiny home. You might want like a cute little teeny tiny home. Uh, you might not need as much as me. So let me know in the comments down below what your dream tiny home would look like. And by all means, if you want to have a go at it in The Sims 4 and you have The Sims 4, go for it. And I would love to see your creations. Just tweet me at Deligracy. Um, it would be really cool to see them and how different we all are. I feel like a lot of you guys would make like little traditional tiny homes with like cute little flower boxes out the front. Oh my gosh. What is it about tiny things that just make us all so happy? Well, not all of us. I'm not speaking for everyone here watching, but a lot of us just have the tiny home or the tiny thing obsession. Like one of my favorite parts of the supermarket is the tiny section. And I love going to other countries and looking in the supermarkets at their tiny sections. Cause I'm like, Ooh, I wonder what England has in their tiny supermarket section. Or I wonder what America has in their tiny supermarket section. 
And it's just, it's just one of those weird things that really gets me going. Uh, give me something miniature. I'm like, hello. Um, but like, okay, this is getting a little bit weird now. Not okay. Let's just change the subject. So yeah, this is my tiny home. Another thing that I absolutely love is lots of greenery. Um, if you guys have seen pictures that I don't know on my Instagram or whatever, or Instagram stories, you've probably seen like around my house, I have a lot of pot plants. Um, plants in pots because uh, we call them pot plants in Australia but everyone laughs whenever I say that because you're like and eh, they're marijuana plants no they we just call them pot plants for potted plants <laughs> um so yeah there's a lot of greenery around I love white walls I really like white walls um yeah that's just me I know a lot of you guys are like why why it's so like stark and cold but I love me a white wall. Give me white walls, glass, timber, a bit of industrial. Give me some exposed brick and I am in heaven. Splash of color with some cushions and rugs. Give me a Persian rug any day of the week. Oh my Lord. Which makes me want to bring up that I would love a Persian rug in The Sims 4. I've said this before, but a Persian rug would make me very, very happy. <laughs> and I have used this four post bed before from City Living, just the plain white cover with a timber frame. I would have that bed in real life. Like, I think that is such a pretty bed. And I'm so glad they made it in the plain colorway. I'm also um, putting a lot of mirrors in because when you're in a small space, mirrors always open up or give the illusion of another dimension of space. So obviously if I have a tiny home, I want to have a lot of mirrors. And the cool thing is the entire roof is glass or almost all of it, especially over the bedroom. Imagine going to sleep under the stars. <gasps> oh my gosh. I, oh. It, that That is a dream. That is a dream. I don't know how you would clean the roof. I don't know what you would do when it was raining because I feel like, oh my gosh, it would look so cool if it was raining and you had a glass roof. Like, how would you clean that? I feel like it would need to be cleaned very, like a lot. And then you'd have gutters around it to catch the rainwater that wouldn't be see-through. So I don't know. I don't know how you would do it, but I do know that there are places you can stay where you do sleep under the stars in terms of having like a glass portion of the roof. And I just think that is pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So um, now we're just putting in some of the exposed brick. I do think having industrial features is interesting in a home. So I've used that industrial staircase and put some bricks in there. The exterior of the house, like realistically, if this was real life, I don't know how this would work having exposed bricks inside because on the outside I've used something that looks like sandstone a little bit. And my reason for that was I was like kind of half thinking realistically. I'm like, if there's so much glass in this tiny home, it's going to get so hot. And then I was thinking about this tiny home being in Australia. You'll see when we do the landscape landscaping, I wanted it to feel like Australia. I was then thinking, oh my gosh, this would get so hot in Australian summers. What would I have? And I was thinking I'd have sandstone or limestone. Um, I'm not an architecture guru or anything like that. Like some of you guys are architecture students or you may be an architect. So you guys know what you're talking about. I don't, <laughs> but I, I assume sandstone or limestone are really fantastic for insulating a home. Uh, so like keeping it cool inside in the summer and keeping it warm inside in the winter essentially. So I decided to go with the, like this limestone or sandstone look and, or maybe mud brick, something like that. So it doesn't really make sense to have the brick on the inside. I should have changed that wallpaper <laughs> to sandstone. Now I think about it, but oh well. Um, oops, a daisies, my bad. So anyway, this is kind of like the final look and feel of the exterior. We're going to put a whole heap of timber around some of it. I know I just said I'm like making the whole thing sandstone because I want to be realistic and then I just changed it all to wood. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the wood is just for looks on the outside and it's sandstone between it. Maybe. But this is pretty much it. I really like black features at the moment. I love black windows, um, black trims. Right now, I, I think it's quite trendy, at least it is here in Australia hate that word trendy. Trendy is such like, it is not a trendy word to say. Like it is a word that completely contradicts itself. <laughs> 
It's like, oh, what those kids are wearing. They're so trendy. That's what I'm going to be when I'm like a grandma. And oh, God. Oh, dear. Can you imagine a deli grandma? <gasps> She's going to be so fabulous. Anyway, um, <laughs> third person again. But yeah, this is pretty much the house on the exterior all done. Uh, we've done the interior as well. I forget how fast it is to make these tiny homes. And I also thought, you know what? Let's just go for it. Let's include a tiny pool as well, because who wouldn't want their own little pool as well? So I was thinking initially of doing like a plunge pool, one that is just really deep and you just jump into it to cool down. And then I thought, you know what, if you ever needed to stay here during like a rehabilitation period or you wanted to teach a child how to swim or you had pets who needed to jump in the water now and then, it's probably good to have a pool a little bit bigger where you can have a little bit of movement in it. So we made like a tiny to medium sized pool out the back and um, lots and lots of timber detailing around the place. It's probably too much timber for a lot of you guys, but for me, I was like, yes, <laughs> so much. And yeah, it's pretty much coming together. I also, in terms of the landscaping, wanted to go with Australian native plants. Like I think hopefully one day when I get to build a house, I will get to have native plants um, in my garden. And I think, you know, wherever you are in the world, I think it's really lovely when you, when people focus on plants and, you know, greenery and whatnot. I, I, I don't really know anything about gardening. I'm really struggling to know the right terminology here, but you get what I mean. The stuff you put in the garden, I feel like it's really nice when you go with native plants because it's just it's good for the environment I don't know I just like it so Australian plants not everyone likes but I really love Australian plants and of course in the sims these aren't just Australian plants these could be really from anywhere but I felt like these looked a little bit like some of the plants we do have here so I decided to use those and we don't really have gum trees in the game so I use like a like a tree <laughs> but imagine that's like a gum tree or a blue gum or something like that uh, gum trees are Australian but they have been planted in a lot of places around the world like California has a lot of gum trees which I thought was really funny when I went there for the first time I thought that was really interesting um, and of course you know Australia does have a lot of desert and um, red red dusty parts of Australia and sandy beaches. So I just thought I'd add a little bit of that like desert looking ground to the place. Not that that's really where I live, but I just thought it was kind of cool. And this is the house in the middle of summer in the game. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of it. Let me know if you like it. Uh, but yeah, this is it all finished. I love the backyard. It's got like my yoga mat and a really comfy looking spot where you could sit in the sun. <gasps> Oh, I want it to be real life. Damn it, I wish I changed that wall um, to the sandstone. It would have looked better as well. Oh, well, you live and you learn, don't you? You live and you learn. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below, like I said, what your dream tiny home would look like. It, would it look anything like this? Would it look very different? I would love to hear. And the only thing I forgot to put in here is a map for Mr. Chow Chow, my non-existent dog, but my future dog. So, oops, forgot about Mr. Chow Chow. Um, but he would need to sleep somewhere as well. <gasps> that glass roof is everything. Love it. Oh, and I also put some bookshelves in and a little study nook. Uh, and there's a the beautiful lap pool, which mm, scrumptious. I just, oh, I want to go swimming now. I can't wait for spring and summer actually in Australia. Hopefully it's not too far off uh, for us Aussies and New Zealanders. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to speak to you guys really, really soon. I love you. So, so. Oh, it hasn't finished yet. Bye.